what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? McDonald's is apologizing for an offensive sign that was posted inside of one of their restaurants in Guangzhou, China. This is bad, family. The sign was aimed at Africans who live in the city, which is one of the most populated African cities in China. It read, we've been informed that from now on, black people are not allowed to enter the restaurant. For the sake of your health, consciously notify the local police for medical isolation. Please understand the inconvenience caused. McDonald said the sign does not represent our inclusive values. They also said that they're going to be having values training courses. Why do they need to have a values training course after something like this happens? Wouldn't it be wise to have a course like that up front for all employees, all potential employees, and to have it reincurring because you have to remind people to treat people like human beings from time to time because many of them are uncivilized and they just don't know any better. What I wanna know is how in the hell did the virus originate in China? Not Africa, China. Spread it by Chinese people in the hundreds of thousands. In the city of Guangzhou, only five black people have tested positive for COVID-19. And there are thousands of Chinese people with COVID-19. But somehow, they figured out a way to blame black people. This is a place straight out of America's racist propaganda handbook where they will create chaos, create the problem, then blame black people, then swoop in to play the hero. Is anyone surprised by all of this? I'm not. This is what happens in a society when one group allows one to mistreat them for decades, centuries. You get used to being mistreated and the abuser gets used to abusing. So they didn't think nothing of putting that sign out there. They, they thought nothing of it. They was not at all concerned about having their franchise license taken from them or anything because they know McDonald's at the most is probably going to give them a slap on the wrist. McDonald's for their part closed the store temporarily, but you know how that go. They'll be right back in full force because to do something like that in the first place speaks volume about the type of people who run that establishment but even more volume about the type of people who gave them the license in the first place. Because I can tell you right now, without a doubt, if Willie D would have been the owner of McDonald's Incorporation or uh, whatever, they wouldn't have never tried that because they already know I'm coming. They already know they're going to get handled. The punishment going to be swift and severe. See, leadership starts at the top. Management, just like you manage your household. However you manage your household, that is the way people are going to respond to your household. If you have a whole bunch of cussing and, 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 and fighting in your household, if you, you're that type of person, then the people that come in your household are going to be going upside the heads of people inside of your household. They'll think nothing of attacking your own your siblings. If, you, if your children are fighting each other, outsiders will think nothing of fighting your children. And your ch one of your ch uh, children 
will sit back and watch their brother or sister fight and sometimes even get beat up and won't even do anything about it because they're used to the conflict. Because you have set the tone with your management skills. Look at Trump. Look at America right now. Look at all of the social discourse right now. Look at where we are right now. All of the fighting and bickering and division. It started with Trump. He came out on the campaign trail. People get knocked across the head at his rallies. Then he get up and do a speech and tell the police, hey, you know, you don't have to be careful with him when you're putting him in the car. You know, just, <clears throat> you know, give him a little shove, you know. I mean, bump their head. Don't worry about it. And look at how the police handle people. This is McDonald's. This is McDonald's doing first. But the Chinese people are definitely culpable. Now, of course, it's important to know that not all Chinese people are bad. But silence is consent. So all of those Chinese people out there, especially the ones who may be listening to me right now, if you're not one of the bad ones, why aren't you saying anything? Why aren't you speaking up? You see, when Chinese people were getting pushed around in America because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, oh, everybody want to come together. Oh, man, we got to support the Asian community. We have to support the Chinese. Chinese people speaking up for the first time. I, man, I, hell, I forgot that they could talk. Chinese people talk all over the airwaves, just talking and saying, we need to come together. We are all in this together. We, this a community. Never heard them speaking like that before. But now that they're suffering financially for the first time, they are speaking out about unity, how we need to come together. And then you got the blacks who always want to fight for everybody's cause but their own. Yeah, we need to help out. Taking pictures all in front of the restaurants, inside the restaurants at the, 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 the Chinese and Asian businesses because they just want to be accepted and they want to prove that they're not like the rest. So now that Africans in China are being misused, where are those same Chinese voices? Where are those same Asian voices? Where are they now? They're silent. None of them are speaking out. None of them. Why? And why are they being treated with so much dignity in Africa when they're being treated with none in China? They're being thrown out on the streets like bombs. These are people who have, some of these people have rent paid for six months in advance, thrown out into the streets, into the gutter, sleeping in the gutter, thrown out into the cold. Men, women, and children don't matter. Where are the Chinese people? Where is the uproar? The U.S. Consulate General in China has advised African Americans to avoid the Guangzhou metropolitan area until further notice. When is Africa going to send out their notice for Chinese to avoid certain areas in their countries? That's what I want to know. I ain't with all this damn talking, man. Some of the leaders in Africa, in African nations, are speaking out and just talking, just talking about uh, Xi Jinping need to do something about it. And, and one of them said, he's a good man. You're a good man. Do something about this. It would not be tolerated. What the hell are you going to do? Your people getting handled like animals. What are you going to do about it? The sad part about all of this is if it really went down, all of Africa couldn't defeat China. 
because none of these nations have chemical weapons. They don't have the military might. This is the scary part about a mass exodus to Africa. Because now you're sitting over there all by yourself with no major military force to discourage your enemies from attacking you. But I know one thing that I would do. I would start off with handling the ones that's over there right now. I wouldn't give a damn. Get out. Get out. If we ain't welcome, you ain't welcome. Imagine that, family. Imagine somebody being welcomed into your home, but you can't go to their home. You try to go to their Hey, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't let you in. But they're all up in your crib kicking it, all in the refrigerator, grabbing juice and beers and shit. Foot kicked all up on the couch, watching television, sucking up the air. Come on, man. That ain't cool. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see McDonald's put up some signs in the black communities all over America. In the name of healthy living. Wouldn't that be something? But that would be too much like right because I would seriously doubt they would do it. Not because they would lose money, but because black people would live longer. Can't have that. No more talk. What the talking about?